Hi guys, in this video I'll talk about the data transfer from a parent job to a child job in Talent. The agenda for this video includes the following. So number one, what exactly is a parent job? So parent job is the one that administers, that controls and that manages other integration jobs. Other integration jobs that are being controlled and managed are known as child jobs and the main the main reason why we would like to have child jobs is that we would like to divide a complex operation a complex problem into a set of small individual operations that later on we join together to get the final result and this is exactly the need of the parent job to a child job uh, data transfer we can transfer the data in different ways uh, how exactly does it work we're going to see in a minute in talent and I think before proceeding let me explain deep parallelize component so deep parallelize is basically a commercial only feature a commercial only component and this is used for some next level synchronization and parallelization of uh, different integration jobs so in this in this screen in this snapshot you can see that we have the parallelized component in center and we have a set of different integration jobs that are parallelly being run by and basically controlled by this t parallelized component so if the if the machine on which this integration job is being run it is power, powerful enough uh, then this is going to run all of these integration jobs simultaneously and it really saves time and gets the things done quite in, uh, quite fast if you do not have this uh, team parallelized component then you may not be sure if your jobs are running in parallel or one after another so this is quite an interesting component in talent and this is really essential when it comes to parent job and child jobs uh, control controlling and management now let's switch to talent and see how exactly does the data transfer works so you can transfer the data from parent job to child job either through global variables or through context variables so if you have a look on this configuration settings window so you have this tab known as context and you can basically store a list of context variables with different data types in in this window and In order to transfer data to a child job, you can you can transfer them from global variables. So this is a component which stores some global variables. Let me open this component and see. So we have created one global variable that's directory to read, and we have some some string inside this variable. And this is the run job component. It doesn't provide any functionality of its own. Rather, it is it is used to run other integration jobs from from a parent integration job. So let me open the settings of this component. So when we would like to transfer data from a global variable, we have to create a variable here. And these are the set of parameters that we would like to pass on to the child job. Here we need to mention the job. So you can click this and you can you have a lot of different folders. You can navigate through the target folder and you have to select the job that you would like to run. So this is the child job that we would like to run. And we pass on the parameters here. So get the global variable, cast it, and this is the variable that's being passed on to the child job and it's very important to understand that the name of the variable by which we are passing the data from a parent job should match with the name of context variable in which you receive the data that's the same directory to read we have nothing because we're going to receive the data from the parent job 
So in trial job, you can receive the data, receive the values of the different variables only in context variables. And the name of context variable should exactly match with the variables being sent from the parent side. And that's that's this one. So we have a D Java component in the child job, and what we are doing is when we receive the data from parent side, then we simply print the value of that context variable onto the console to see if we have really received the data. Now let's run the parent job and see how exactly does the data transfer works. As you can see we are running parent job and when we run it so this message is being printed from child side and that's directory to read and it's exactly the same string that we have passed on from the parent side so what could be a possible use case of this parent child data transfer so if we need to read uh, five different directories and there are 100 files inside each of these directory so we would like to create five different child jobs and we'll pass on the names uh, basically the address of those directories to child jobs and child job is going to receive the name of the it's going to receive the address of the directory and then it reads all files from the directory and it processes them accordingly so it means we have basically uh, divided a complex job into a set of smaller integration jobs and we read we basically need to explicitly uh, explain explicitly define what exactly child job is going to do and what parameters it's going to receive so this is the way you can pass on data to the child jobs the second way to pass on the data is directly from the context variables so if you see the context variables in the parent job we have only one variable that's directory to read and we go in the settings of data and job and we delete this parameter and we take this option transmit all context it means all context variables that are being stored in the parent side in the parent job should be transferred to the child job let's run the integration job now and there we go so i've added some additional detail with this variable and that's directory to read that's the that's the value that we're getting exactly from the context variable in the parent integration job so if you see this value that's exactly the address plus from context variable so in short we have two different ways by which we can transfer the data either through a global variable by specifying it in the parameters list or maybe directly context variables should be transferred to the child integration job that's it for the video and thanks a lot for watching the video if you liked give it a thumbs up and subscribe